crash that left a motorcycle rider and a seven-year-old girl fighting for their lives. Tonight, the family of the biker is opening up to Action News and telling us how he's doing. He got banged up pretty good. He's lucky to be alive, and thank God he had his helmet on. Action News reporter Elizabeth Gadley is live from UMC with the latest on his condition right now. Elizabeth. Steve, the good news is Daniel Bray is expected to survive. His family is now by his side here at UMC. They flew in from Colorado last night after receiving the devastating news that he was in a terrible crash. It's like sat down, you know, your heart starts beating in your feet. And, and um, but when I at least found out he was alive, he said it was a motorcycle accident. And I thought, oh, brother. Bray's father, Ben, says the 29-year-old slips in and out of consciousness. He suffered a broken leg, cracked ribs, punctured lung, and a gash to his head. The crash happened Saturday night at Buffalo and Bedora. Police say a Jeep turned in front of Bray's motorcycle, causing him to crash into the vehicle's side. Bray was thrown through the back window where he hit a 7-year-old in the back seat. Bray's family says he's been riding since he was 16 years old and is always very cautious. Loved ones have this message for drivers. For drivers, you just always got to... You always got to be aware and, you know, and, and because bikes are tiny and you just can't see. Usually it's just a headlight and a silhouette sometimes is that's all you get. We don't have an update on how that little girl was doing. Last we heard she was in serious condition. Now coming up tonight on Action News at 6, hear how Bray's main concern was for her, even though he was very seriously hurt. Reporting live from UMC, I'm Elizabeth Gadley, Channel 13 Action News.